Mustang may look something like an ME109 with its square-cut wingtips, but with wider wings, a longer nose, and a higher, squarer tail, it's soon recognized as friendly on this side of the channel at any rate. The Mustang is a heavily armed single-seater fighter and very fast. How fast? Well, Spitfires couldn't catch it, we're told. Anyway, it's the fastest Army cooperation aircraft in the world. Mustangs have already been in action. They've been operating for some weeks, ground staffing the enemy, beating up a variety of targets on the other side. Mustangs have some of the qualities of the strong, fiery, wild horses after which they're named. Our pilots like them. German soldiers in northern France do not. All reporting. With the Allies' air offensive continually growing in scope and power, every air weapon now in operation makes first-class news. The Mustang is a real fighter, sturdy and very fast. Army Cooperation Command uses it over enemy-occupied countries and over Germany itself, where it has an unusually long range. Incidentally, it's rather like the ME-109E. With the Mustang, Army Co-op pilots have developed uncanny skill with incendiaries and armor-piercing cannon shells. A few old vehicles were the target here when we went down to an RAF bombing range to watch them practice. Certainly pretty hot shooting. The Mustangs were coming in at about 130 yards a second. The station commander was so confident of their marksmanship that he put the cameraman within 100 yards of the target. Real targets, of course, are gun positions, power and radio stations, troops, barracks, trains and transport. The action pictures that follow were taken by the camera gun of pilot officer Grant, a Canadian, who beat up no less than 12 locomotives in one sortie. Nice work, and very useful practice for future full-scale military operations in the West. <laughs> 